When we got feedback from the community from the park, or for the park, um, what they had talked about was wanting a space that's comfortable for kind of coming out here for lunch or for a picnic in the summer, but also one that can handle large events. And there's no larger event that's gonna happen here next week on the 6th. Um, and so the park really kind of speaks to those two different uh, design intents. Um, so you have some smaller corners with you know more walkable spaces and benches, but then you have broad open spaces right in front of the station that allows for large stages and uh, grandstands to be set up to really allow for that large type of event. What are some of the aspects of the park that you, as someone who helped design it, are most excited about? Um, so I, what I think we're really excited about is just seeing how people use the space. Uh, when we work through a design, um, we get a lot of feedback about where people want to enter the park, where they want to go. Um, but then once you actually build it, then you really start to see that. And so there's def definitely an intent to the design about to where those, uh, those corridors and, and routes are. Um, so those are part of it. But then also just kind of seeing some of the spaces that have been set up around the park, um, the sitable space, um, seeing how people use that to maybe take a break and to appreciate the architecture of the station and then the surrounding city. Um, and then just the connectivity. This park is really in the middle of so much activity in the city. You've got the station, of course, but then you've also got Michigan Avenue and Corktown, but then you also have the connection to the Southwest Greenway, which is providing a connection to the riverfront. Um, it's all about making those connections and seeing how people use it.